Hi guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Ella and my channel is Mary Ella's This and That. Today we are going to be making a cake. Um, it's called an apple pie cake. So come on, let's get busy. First thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then, for the cake, you need two cups of flour, One, and you can use any kind of flour. Two cups of flour. One and three fourths cups of sugar. You need a tablespoon of cinnamon. A teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of baking soda, not powder. You want the soda. You want the soda, not powder. Uh, okay. Before I put the rest in, I'm going to mix this around. Get that cinnamon and that soda and the salt mixed in the whole cake. Now you want to add three eggs. And one cup of oil.
and you want to mix this together. And this recipe calls for using a wooden spoon to mix it together. I don't know why, but every time I make this cake, I always make sure that I get my wooden spoon and I mix it up. And the batter will be very stiff. Now that you got it all mixed together, you want to take a can of apple pie filling and you want to add that to your cake batter. And what I do, if I see big chunks of apple, I just take my spoon and kind of cut them in half. Then you mix in your apple pie filling. And now your batter is not as thick. That apple pie filling makes it more like a cake batter. At this point, if you want, you could add chopped walnuts or pecans or whatever kind of nut you wanted. But, and this will make a 9 by 13 cake. But I'm making two 8 by 8 cakes because one of these, tomorrow is my neighbor's birthday. And that is why I'm baking the cake. So, and she can't have, she doesn't eat nuts. So, hers, I'm making without the nuts. And I put parchment paper in the pan so that way I can lift the cake out when when it gets done so that way I'm not taking my pan to her house I did that last year. She forgot that it was my pain. So I added a half a cup of nuts to mine.
I added a half a cup of walnuts to mine. So now these are done. We're going to put them in this 350 degrees oven and bake them 45 to 50 minutes. I, since they're smaller pans, I will check them in 35, 40 minutes and see where we're at. See if they're done. So I'll bring you guys back when they come out of the oven. Okay, guys, we are back. <clears throat> it baked about 45 minutes in these little pans. Now, at this point, the cake is actually done. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to dust my neighbor's cake with some powdered sugar. And by the way, I went ahead and let these cool. You see how moist, it's really moist. Okay, I'm back. I had to go turn the YouTube off. <laughs> it was playing in the background. See that big chunk of apple in there and and the walnut. So guys. Try this cake. It tastes like an apple pie in a cake form. It's really, really good. I had to tell you guys a story about yesterday. Yesterday, I put Buddy outside so I could scrub my floors and all that. And he's outside, and he kept barking to get in. So when I got done, I let him in. When he came in, the only thing that was muddy on him was his paws. 
And I mean, not only the bottoms of them, but the tops of them. He came in the house. He strung mud everywhere. I felt like I had worked my butt off yesterday for no reason. And it's like, what are you doing? And then he just ran through the house, stringing mud everywhere. So then I had to redo it again. I said, we got to find a solution to me cleaning house and you not getting muddy Why when I put you outside. I said, because this is ridiculous. Well, I will put the recipe in the description box below. And you all have a good weekend. And I'll see you back here on Christmas, on Monday. Remember, don't let anybody steal your sunshine or take your smile. Have a good night.